Hi everyone, in today's quick tip video I'm going to show you how you can use the free module in Embrilliance for using and installing BX fonts with your embroidery machine. Now this only works with BX fonts. If you only want to stitch out text with your embroidery machine and you don't want to use any other designs in software, then Embrilliance Essentials has a downloads section here. So I'm on embrilliance.com, you go to downloads and then it tells you here what the Embrilliance platform is. Basically, Embrilliance is sold in modules. So there's Essentials, which is the one I have, that will enable me to merge, say, a stitch file together with some text or to merge two stitch files together. Then you've got Alpha Tricks Enthusiast, Density Repair, Font Collections and Stitch Artists. It's sold in modules, it can grow with you. I do not digitize, so the literally all as I use is Embrilliance Essentials. It tells you here that Express Modes runs for free to use BX install fonts from anywhere in the world. So if you literally um, have an embroidery machine that has fonts already installed on it, but you want more fonts, you want more variety, and you have no um, uh, embroidery software, you can use this program to download a BX font from the internet into this program and then save it onto a USB stick and put that USB stick into your embroidery machine and stitch it out. So Embrilliance works for both Mac and Windows. So the first thing you need to do is install the Embrilliance program that relates to your computer. So if you're a Mac user like me, you would select this one here, Embrilliance 1.17. If you're a Windows user, it's Embrilliance 1.17 next to where it says Windows. You literally select whichever one is appropriate for you, download it, save it, and then install it onto your computer. Once it's installed, you then need to open up the program. It will put an icon that looks like this, generally on your desktop. If not, it will be somewhere on your computer. So I'm just going to close the internet down and I'm going to open up my Embrilliance Essentials because obviously I've purchased Essentials, but it's basically the same program, but you can only use it to install and save BX fonts if you're using it for free. So I'm just going to make my screen a little bit smaller. Now again, my screen may look a little bit different to yours because I've changed the background colour and I've set the default size for my hoop, which I can do in the paid version. You will just have to use Embrilliance if you're using the free version just as it is. So I'm not sure what size hoop it will show by default and it generally shows as a yellow background. So saved on my desktop, I've got a file in the BX format and basically BX basically just means it will enable you to type a word out using the letters on your keyboard and it will type the stitch file as a complete word. Alternatively, if you had to buy a font file in your proprietary file format, so if you use a brother machine, that's generally PES, if you bought a stitched font file in that format, you would have to drag every single letter that you want to use letter by letter from the file that you've purchased and drag it into this hoop, which is an absolute pain, especially if you type in a big word because then you've got to select all the individual letters and then you've got to start coming up here and aligning them. So I've got this file that I'm just going to install directly now into Embrilliance and show you how you can use BX files for free. Now the file is called Anna. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the capital letter A at the top of the page. 
and I'm going to come over to where it says fonts and just use the drop down menu and show you that I don't have anything in here called Anna. Okay, so now I'm just going to double click and open the file and you can see it here, Anna.bx and I'm going to left click and drag it and just drop it onto my Embrilliant page and it says file installed. The font Anna has been installed so I now say OK. So I'm going to select this ABC and just hit the delete on my keyboard to get rid of it. So I'm going to come back up to the big letter A at the top of the page and I'm going to come over to where it says font. I'm going to click on the downward facing arrow and there is Anna. And normally you know that they're installed fonts because they have a needle against them. And I think specifically BX fonts have a needle against them. So if I choose this font now, Anna, you can see it's changed its name here. And then where it says text and it says ABC, that's what represents what's on my screen. And you can see the ABC has changed. So if I just highlight that word, those letters now, and using the keys on my keyboard, type Hannah and hit enter. That has now typed out the words in that font for me, which I can now save as a stitch file and take it over to my machine and stitch it out. So as I say, if all as you want to do is use a font, that's different to the fonts that are already pre-installed on your embroidery machine, you can go and buy or get a file, a free font from the internet, making sure it's in the BX format, and you can download Embrilliance and using the express mode, you'll be able to install the font. Again, if I just click on the letter A and come to where the fonts are, you will probably only have, once you install this font, ABC block, which I think is the default, default font. You may only see that, that one font when you're using Embrilliance in the express mode. The reason I've got all these others is because obviously I've installed other fonts in the past. And then to get this now onto your embroidery machine, you need to go to the very top of the page where it says file, and come down to save stitch file as then by default I have mine set to PES because that's the file format I use for my brother machine so I would just over type what's already here in the save as so I would call this Hannah dash Anna font so I know which font it is I've used I would save it onto my desktop and use the save option and that will put the stitch file onto my desktop. If I close this down and close down the folder, here is the file I've just saved, hannah-anna-font-pes. If you use a Janome, you just save yours as a JEF file. And this is now your stitch file. I would drag this, I'd install a USB stick onto my computer, I'd drag this into the USB stick, and then I would take that over to my embroidery machine, and I would be able to choose the USB stick in my embroidery machine and find this file and stitch it out. So I hope that's helpful. You cannot use this free express version for any other type of file. It will only let you install or use a BX font, which you can then save into your file format and stitch out. Please give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful. There is an Embrilliance Essentials playlist here on my YouTube channel with other quick tip videos in, so go along and have a look at those. I will try and remember to put a card at the end of the video with a link to the playlist for you. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thank you.